Take a bite. It's not the typical way you feed a child, but five-year-old Salvatore Goduto isn't typical. He's been getting all his nutrition from Boost protein drinks. He would drink seven, eight of them a day, and you know we'd sit down at mealtime and try and force him to eat, and he would chew the food and put it in his mouth, but then never swallow it. So we'd just stick in his mouth until she made him spit it out at some point. Psychologists believe Salvatore began associating food with pain because, as a toddler, he had acid reflux. Take a bite. Now his treatment consists of wiping a spoon of pureed food on his tongue. Awesome job swallowing! And some positive reinforcement. We might start with an empty or a dry spoon, uh, and then once the child is comfortable with, with us placing something in their mouth, we'll very gradually place more and more food on the spoon. William Sharp is a behavioral psychologist at the Marcus Autism Center in Atlanta, where there's a waiting list of 600 children who have some form of feeding disorder. Sharp is now testing out a new app called iEat. That will allow caregivers to uh, take this technology that we built in-house and start implementing it in the home setting. Every one of these little marks is every time he took a bite. Four-year-old Andrew was one of the first to use the app in the clinic. He's been on a feeding tube for most of his life. But for the past eight months, That's good good job, those buddy. green beans, good job, pal. He's been feeding on praise. We didn't realize how far positive praise would go. And it did, it worked. It went from 10 bites to 20 to 50 to now we don't even count bites anymore. As for Salvatore, just 10 days of treatment has him doing something he hasn't done in five years. He's now swallowing all of his bites within uh, 30 seconds 